Hi everyone, uh, it's Dana from Parenting in Real Life. I hope that you are um, having a good Friday. I was on a podcast this morning, it's a great podcast, you should take a listen, um, called Gritty Women with Lynn Brown. Um, anyway, we're talking about anxiety and my work with families and um, parents of anxious kids. Um, I was talking and saying that if your child is anxious, our job as parents is to be the calm in the storm for them. This means if you're anxious, you need to manage that first because it can be somewhat um, contagious, right? If you're calm, they're calm. If you're uptight, they sense that they become a little more anxious, a little more uptight, a little more acting out. Um, if you can name the emotion for them, that also is really helpful. When you name it, that sometimes takes the heat out of the emotion for them. So let's say they came home from a school and blanked on a test or something. So, oh, I really messed up, blah, blah, blah. You could say, oh, did you blank out? Did you space? Yeah. Hmm. So maybe anxiety just took away your memory for a minute. That's all right. Um, you know, anxiety has a way of doing that. Anxiety can cause this, that, and the other thing. The other thing I do say a lot to parents is to um, accept that anxiety, accept that they have that feeling, all of the feelings, the, the nervousness, the clutching, the sweat, the um, dizziness, any of those, validate those feelings for them. Don't pretend the anxiety doesn't exist because that sounds like you don't believe them or it sounds like you're diminishing them and their feelings and they need to know that you're there to listen to them and, and they need to know how to cope with it, right? So which leads to the next thing, which is coping tools. Give them some coping tools. <laughs> like what? Well, you could try deep breathing with them. You could hug them really close and breathe with them until their heart rate matches yours, which will happen. So neurologically, it'll, your nervous system will calm down, which enables them to think again. Other ideas are playing some music that they like or having them do the, I hear, I smell, I touch, um, kind of meditation almost, where they're just saying what they hear, saying what they see, doing something to ground them and bring them back from their own um, high tense anxiety. And then lastly, and maybe most importantly, is be their safe place. Let them come to you with those emotions. Let them spill all the emotions out on you because if you're the safe place for their for your kid then that emotional safety leads to better emotional regulation for them right so so you help them feel in control and they become more in control they get agency and they are able to calm themselves down by learning it with you basically um, so those are my tips for today and again uh the podcast was gritty women with Lynn Brown, really fun. I love her and she's doing some great work. So have a good Friday, have a good weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.